Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. There we hey, go. Windy situation <laughs> going on out here, bro. She just lost her hat again. Guys, Ladies so and gentlemen, windy. there goes like, the hat right off yeah. that goofy head. Oh my God, it's beyond windy right now. All right, just deal with it. Let me try to grab it. I grab forgot, your hat. I forgot hat. to tighten it. She has to put the thing on and tighten it. I forgot it. to. How funny is that? Yeah, she has to put that under Guys, the chin. That's why like, they have that. Like, look at this. It was only supposed to be, what, like 15 mile an hour winds? It isn't that windy. It's just coming in bursts. Oh, man. Crazy weather out here today, guys. Crazy waves. Wild. Look T at this. The screen's going nuts. Look. I don't even know if you can hear us. Can you hear us? It's sunny. It's warm, but it's very windy. Yes. Very, very windy. Good wave we're, action we're behind this us. Little, like, we found this little cubby to sit in on yeah, the we're beach. we're in a goalie. A goalie. And, um... I would think we'd be like more protected from the wind in here, but well, the wind's coming from the ocean, right at us. I know, but oh well. Coming right it at is us. What it is? What do we got going on today, guys? It is Monday. Back to work for most. Back to work. Back to reality. It'll be alright. And Just tomorrow we have to go leader. back. We're, We're not even on a cruise reality. ship, okay? We got Texas and Sour on a cruise still. They're still cruising. Days it's going to go by. They're going to be cruising. Not us. I know nothing about the news today. I didn't watch anything. All right, any guys. News. Well, listen to this. You know how they canceled those two Regal Princess cruises in a row? Okay, I think it was October 7th and November 3rd sailings. Well, because of all the backlash they were getting, everybody was complaining about the measly 25% future cruise credit. Yeah. They have now upped it to 50%. Good job on you, Princess. So now you'll it's get... It's the least you could do. You'll get a refund. Believe me. And you will get 50% in future cruise credit off your next cruise. As you deserve. Yes. Yeah, so... Because you were just screwed out of a lifelong fun vacation, most of you. Yes. Yeah, so they changed it from 25% to 50%. So good. that's good. Good to hear. Yes. Um, what else do we got? Okay. Real Caribbean, guys. Now, I don't know if anyone does this, but I do this regularly, like almost daily. Um, I put holds on cruises. Okay, so, you know, when you're booking a cruise, there's a hold option. Well, Royal Caribbean now has upped it to a five-day hold for sailings 91 plus days away. Yes. So, if I'm looking at a cruise for next year, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, should I book it? Let me talk about it, but I don't want to lose the room. I don't want to lose this rate. Because you know how the rates can like fluctuate daily. They do. Well, if it's 91 plus days away, you can now hold it on Royal Caribbean's website for five days. Which five I think days. is awesome. Yes. So here's the deal. If you're trying to book less than 30 days away, no hold. You can't hold it all. 31 to 45 days, Nothing. one day hold. 46 to 90 days, two day hold. And 91 plus days, now you can hold for five days, which I think is awesome. I feel like I want to book this, but I don't get paid till Friday, and it's like Wednesday. Well, you're screwed. You can use, no, you can use the hold option. You can. That's my whole point. You're not screwed. That's right. So you can use the hold option and hold it for five days, five and you'll days. be fine. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's a good thing. I like that. I, I think it's it. a good thing, too. Yes, because I do that all the time, guys, just for fun. You know it's not good, guys? Going through the crap I'm going with with this football team right now. Like, I, you know what? what? I know the Cowboys are losing, or, but you guys are getting pretty much blown out in every game. So, it's it's like I've been a big comeback story. But how about when you're up 20 and your coach just refuses to kick the extra point? I don't know why. And then not kick the 23-yard field goal, then not kick the 35-yard field goal. Instead, go for it from a quarter of an inch away when you've been like 90% on the uh, tush push, you, you didn't get it twice in the game, but you decide. Yeah, the tush push has been on the fritz, let's be honest. I mean, just stop doing okay. it. Please stop doing it's, it. It's I know it's just a short yardage run. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. There's times where the Eagles got first downs on some of them tush pushes that they had to run the tush push. But my the bottom line is, like, they found a way to, like, give you a heart attack in that game and the sad part was i knew it i actually bet and took the jags in that game but i really thought they would win outright i did they yeah. covered but i thought they would win outright so you're not happy 
No, I'm I'm like not okay. Here's why I'm happy because I felt like it was a trap game because we had the Cowboys next week and and that's our rivalry. Sure. Um, that's a big game. They already got players that are out, so I don't even know what, who they're dressing for that game. Mike McCarthy might have to play on the offensive line, and um. So basically, this situation that's going on with the Eagles, I knew it was a trap game. I thought that's why I had Jacksonville winning. and But the thing is, they ended up like going up so much that you're like, okay, they're going to like stomp on this team, and they just didn't do it. No. They won, which is great. I mean, you need it a win. It wasn't the way you wanted them to win. Yeah, the way Washington's winning, they got to win with them. I'm not so sure. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I really think Detroit's by far the best team in the NFC. Like, I don't even think it's close. Maybe, like, even further of a distance than the 49ers had on everybody last year. You know what I mean? Really? Well, all these teams are beat up. All the teams that are good, like 49ers, are beat up. The Cowboys are beat up. Like, they're just beat up teams. Like, Dallas can't win without Parsons. And they don't even show up without him. I don't even know what's going on there. I'll tell you what. (laughs) Well, guys, this is a football update. That's it. I just had a breakdown. Well, I mean, I'm saying is I'm in my house screaming yesterday. My neighbors probably think I'm totally out of my mind. Like, they're like, this guy, what's he screaming at? What's he even screaming? Crazy man over there. Imagine the words that are coming out of my mouth. Well, just like you were upset yesterday, somebody was upset on Carnival. Okay? They were upset because... I can't imagine. There's not bathrobes in the cabins. Well, So, John Heald has said... There's only bath uh, bathrobes in the cabins of suites. However, no matter what cabin you have, if you would like a bathrobe, all you need to do is request one from your stateroom attendant. And they will bring them? Yes. Okay. So that's all you have to do. They're just not voluntarily providing them for you because they're trying to cut down, obviously, on washing the labor, this or that. So, so on the person that wrote to John Heald, maybe you should ask your room attendant first. Before you go on and email John Heald yeah. and then see what he could do for you. Then you email John Heald and complain. Yeah. Now, if you asked your room attendant and they're like, no, then you could have something to complain yeah, about. Yeah, you can message But all you have to do on Carnival, if you would like a bathrobe, which I always do, just ask. And one will be provided for you. By the way, guys, I'm uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter's fat brother that you never met before. I forgot to tell you that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm dog the honey bounty hunters. Interesting, bad brother. I just haven't bounty hunted anything. Interesting. The only thing I've bounty hunted was uh, crimpets, uh, ring dings, and ding dongs. Wow. Well. Guys, don't <laughs> worry about the robes. Bring your own robe. <laughs> Guys, we'll Throw have a good people. night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Robes are small anyway. They are. No, you small. know what? They're always too big, I feel like. Well, they're big for her, small for a normal human being. You know what they okay. need? Let's call, talk to John Heal. They need different size options. Yeah, you should have bigger ones, John. Come yeah. on. I'm sure you don't fit in the robe. Small, I've seen Small, medium, you. large, and XL. Yeah. Maybe a John two. don't fit in the robe. 2X. All right, guys. Have a good night. Have a good Look night, at this guys. beautiful backdrop. Enjoy it. We're going to enjoy it. Bye. Bye. Guys, okay, so look at these seashells that were just sitting here. I don't know. It is weird.